86 now, the U.S.-Iran war of words. The radical terrorist Iranian regime is now trying to convince rational observers that the United States did not shoot down one of Iran's drones. Instead, Iran wants the world to believe that the U.S. shot down one of our own drones by mistake. The U.S. Navy warship has shot down an Iranian drone in the Strait of Hormuz Thursday. U.S. President Donald Trump says the drone came within about 900 meters of the USS Boxer an amphibious assault ship seen here earlier this week. And so that's really the question, where is all of this headed, right? Military or not? Clearly, Iran is trying to provoke us, trying to pick a fight. Question is motivation. What is the Iranian regime's reason for recent provocation? Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, we just found out that Iran has now apparently seized another oil tanker this would be a British flagged oil tanker. So that throws out one of my theories of why this provocation. Uh, I suggested that possibly uh, they were trying to divide the allies. Well, when you go after one of our allies, you're going after us. So that's out the window. Uh, are they doing it maybe to spike the price of oil? Possibly. But there may be a more fundamental reason behind this recent aggression that fits into the pieces of the radical Iranian regime. Graham, I think you are hitting the nail on the head. For all of world history, seizing another country's vessel on the high seas has been always interpreted as an act of war, not a provocation, but virtually a declaration of war going all the way back to wooden ships with big sails. Uh, it's no different today. Um, more explicitly in answer to your question, um, some years ago, I was briefed by a senior official at CIA who said what they're most worried about in regards to Iran is the fact that it's a fundament fundamental um, Islamic regime that believes in and wants to encourage the apocalypse in the Bible, Armageddon. And the Iranian mullahs believe if they can start it, and they go down as martyrs, they will go to a special place in heaven that Muhammad has made reservations for them. In regards to what they're doing, it almost seems as if they are begging for war. How many ships need to be attacked? How many oil facilities need to be attacked? Hell, they blew up the airport in Saudi Arabia through their Houthi proxies, and there was no retaliation. So each step becomes more flagrant, and at some point, Graham, and I fear it's going to be soon, we, the West, especially the United States, will need to respond, yep. and it will be militarily, and it will be significant. And I believe that also in this equation, maybe they're testing the 45th president of the United States, testing to see how far uh, they can push him. And they ought to be careful with that because I see a retaliation not unlike what Ronald Reagan did. I believe it was in 1986 when he said, uh, that's enough. And he virtually took out the Iranian Navy. But here's the president uh, talking about the drone uh, attack, the fact that we shot down a drone and the question that Iran is raising, whether it was a U.S. drone uh, or an Iranian drone, roll tape. No doubt about it. No, we, we shot it down. We have the greatest people in the world. We have the greatest equipment in the world. We have the greatest ships, most deadly ships. We don't want to have to use them, but they're the most deadly ships ever conceived. And uh, we are not, uh, we hope for their sake, they don't do anything foolish. If they do, they will pay a price like nobody's ever paid a price. So how do we define foolish here now at this point? They shoot down, or we have to shoot down an Iranian drone. They've uh, taken one tanker, and now they've taken one of our close, our closest allies uh, tanker. Uh, I guess we have to wait and see how, how far you push this president. But the bottom line is this, Barry. I think we can decipher, uh, if anything, we can decipher that these sanctions that have been put on Iran I think is part of the motivation here of them of them doing these provocative moves. Yeah, it, it would seem as if they're trying to create a better hand in their poker game vis-a-vis -vis more aggression, more provo provocation on the high seas, thinking, well, we'll back down uh, and give them relief from sanctions if they stop being aggressive. What they don't understand is, and Trump is right, the United States Navy is the most deadly fleet ever to sail the high seas. 
literally in under an hour, the entire Iranian Navy could be on the bottom of the ocean should that decision be made. And if they turn it loose, which they're pushing really hard on Trump, as if they're daring him to do it, then where will Iran be with no Navy, Graham? And that is a real possibility yep. if they continue this aggression in what they call their sea, the and, Persian Gulf. And look for, the if there is any kind of military strike, whether large or small, look for Iran to try and provoke Israel into the conflict as well. And if that happens, look out, all bets are off. Barry, thank you.